Well, holy crap. Miracles do happen. Look at that. The old man's streaming again. How is everybody? As always, we'll give it a few minutes to see how many people show up. Glitch. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll give it a few minutes to see who else shows up because uh, i got to give some backstory on where I've been, that sort of stuff. So, but yes, I am back. I'm going to be full, uh, streaming full time again, four days a week, hopefully. Uh, we're going to try for. Yeah, I will get into that glitch. It's it's been interesting couple months, actually. Interesting three or four months. Um, some good, some bad, but. Uh, But as I was saying, uh, full-time streaming again. We're going to try four days a week, and we're going to try for three hours of stream, just three-hour streams to start. We'll see how things go if I – because this is now my full-time job again. So we need to make some money, guys. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, I hope everybody is doing well for those – who are watching this on YouTube later. Thank you and welcome. And while you're there, subscribe, like, all that stuff. So yeah. Um, so I had to quit working for Missing Worlds for a little bit because I needed to find something that paid well. Like, I wasn't getting paid with Missing Worlds, but I needed something that would pay the bills. So... I had to give up streaming because I found a job at Walmart and uh, it was full time and it was evenings and it was a weird shift. So I couldn't do any streaming. I couldn't do any work. So I was there for almost three months. I was a department manager and then uh, another opportunity came up, which, which I thought was my dream job. Um, a company needed somebody to do character skins for a battle royale style um, crypto based online game so the way it was presented to me it was an ongoing thing ah thanks for the bit my dear um so it was presented to me as an ongoing thing so I'm pretty sure I was up front with the gentleman who interviewed me that I needed to be ongoing because I was going to be quitting a management job. But I'm not sure if you heard that part or just forgot later on. I don't know. I'm still friends with the company. I don't want to say anything bad about them. The time I did work, I worked with them for about a month and a half. Um, and in that time, I got a crap ton of work done for them. I did 10 character or eight character skins and two bad guy skins. <laughs> Did you get some uh, some ads, dear? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to sub again, my dear. Or somebody would be kind enough to... Um, to gift you a sub. Anyway, um, one thing here I want to do. Before I get back to my story. Okay. So I worked for them for a month and a half. Did eight character skins. Eight character skins and two bad guy skins. Um, I had to model them. I had to texture them. And then I had to export all the textures out so that they could use them. And we were having an issue where um, we needed all the maps to be merged. Um, for those who don't know, when you text, when you export textures for a game, there's any number of maps for each piece in the model. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, for instance, one skit I had, I had 113 different textures <laughs> for each for each 
piece. So we had to figure out a way to merge them. And then there is a way to do it. You make a mask, use the base, mo base, mat, uh, base mat, a base color mat. You make a mesh out of it, and then you use that mesh to kind of met you take each map and you put it on so that it's on one texture. I wasn't having that. That was way too tedious. I did not feel like doing that. I've done it, and it's tedious. So I went on the internet and I searched, and I found this guy who was making a uh, map merger uh, called Stack and Pack, and I had the company buy it, and it didn't work at first. So I sat with the guy on Discord for six hours straight, and he coded it specifically for our needs, and it worked like a charm. Basically, it takes all five maps that we use from each or four, three or four maps, I can't remember, it takes all the maps and merges them. I can actually show you an example of what I'm talking about. I can show you the maps probably, but I can't show you the actual um, character. Let's do this one. So this, oops, this is a base map for a character. It takes all the base colors and puts them onto one map. And the map packer or the, the, the merger takes all of the pieces and combines them into one map like that. Because normally you would have every single piece have its own base map. Base map. And that doesn't... The problem with that is that, that your system has to do a draw call for each, um, for each texture. So, yeah. So I sat... So it didn't work. I sat with the guy for six hours on Discord and I... We were able to f sort that out. Um, but I think what happened with uh, with this company that I was working with, I honestly, I think they ran out of work for me. <laughs> I think that's basically what the problem was. I plowed through all the work they had, and they didn't have anything, anything else to give me. So they kind of let me go or lay me off or what do you want to call it? I'm still on good terms with them. Um, the other issue we were having is they did not have a concept artist. So all of the skins I did were purely from references photos, like cutting pieces out of pictures and trying to make sort of a, a makeshift mood board and it didn't work. Um, I had to go back and forth. And the guy that I was working with, my team lead, he was also the principal coder for the project. And he did not have the time to be going back and forth with me to figure out what was working and wasn't working. So there was that as well. So we did we did miggle through. We got I got like I said eight eight character skins done, and then I got two bad guy skins done. So we got tons of work done, and I will be able to show those off in about two three weeks because that's when this project's supposed to go live, and these skins are supposed to hit the marketplace for them. So once they hit the marketplace, then I can show them off. And I will show them off on a stream at some point, and I will put them into um, into my portfolio. So that, that's what's been happening for like the last four or five months. Um, now, because of that job, a couple of cool things have happened. A, I was able to get a new tablet. So I have a brand new drawing tablet. It's a 4K, 24-inch um, Heroin, I think it's called. Heroin or or something. I didn't get a Wacom because they're stupidly overpriced. The same size one for a Wacom was 4700 bucks. This cost me two grand. So just absurdly, absurdly priced. I wasn't going to spend that much. Um, the other thing is I have now a year subscription to ZBrush and a year subscription to Substance Painter. So I don't have to pay out for software for a whole year, which is awesome. And they sent me a 3090 GPU to use while I was working for them. When they laid me off, they still mowed me some overtime. So we just swapped. So now I have a 3090 that I own. So that's why, hopefully, I'm looking at my deets on my uh, Streamlabs. You're not seeing any uh, frame loss now because I have a 3090, right? So that super helps out with all of my work. I can uh, I can bake stuff like at 
a third of the time I used to. Like, it's crazy. So, yeah, all that cool stuff has happened. It's uh, kind of exciting. And now I'm going. the two things I'm going to be doing going forward, working for Missing Worlds Media while I'm streaming and YouTubing the stuff that I do, and I'm going to be making models and uploading them to the Unreal Marketplace for sale. Those will be my two main forms of income. So if anybody out there... Yeah, right? I mean, it sucks because I had a snowmobile on order. <laughs> and uh, I was really looking forward to a new snowmobile, and I had to cancel it. So, yeah, kind of sucks. But hey, I'll buy another one. I'm not worried about it. I need to get my career in order first before I start thinking about that stuff. So you can see I spiffed up the office a bit. Looks really good, eh? Um, so yeah, that's the update. And I appreciate everybody who's watching. I see I have one, two, three, four, six people watching. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so what are we working on tonight? I don't know who will remember this beautiful thing that we were working on six months ago before I stopped streaming. This is the Avatar, or um, Regency Arc Arcane Master. He's like a boss, supposedly, for City of Titans. Yeah, City of Titans. So, I've already gone through and... Um, I've already textured and, um, added to the character generator, his crown and his robe. So what we're going to do tonight is, um, we are going to, whoop, hang on a second, got to do this. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Be patient with me, guys. <laughs> It's been it's been six months since I've done this, so <laughs> so it's gonna take me a few minutes to get used to it. Okay, so little little let's rewind. Arcane Master, uh, for you probably guys will probably remember this. Uh, I have since you saw it, I've made bracers and boots. Well, shoes really. He's got shoes with some stockings. Um, and a crown. Or whatever you want to call that. It's, there's another word for it. It starts with a D. Um, but I have... What we can do here... Uh, we're waiting. Let's start at the Avatar Builder so I can show you to them what it looks like. Now, keep in mind, I the stuff that I put into the Avatar Builder, like I've said before in the past, it's... It's for testing purposes only to make sure that stuff works. Um, most of the stuff still needs a uh, needs to be rigged properly and it needs to be weighed, right? And uh, I don't do that. That's not my... I do basic binding, but that's as far as I go. Just enough to be able to get it into the avatar builder to make sure that everything fits and works. Um, so what I think we're going to do tonight... Um, is we're going to continue on. Um, maybe do his shoulders next. So, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. so we will do. Oh, there it is. I called it neck. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, well, we got this up. I'll show you guys. I'll bring this down so you guys can see it. Good old avatar builder.
this is an old avatar builder. This is 4.26, I think. So do not, this is absolutely not what the current one looks like. The current one is uh, Unreal 5 now. So, okay. So this is what he looks like. This is what his crown looks like. It's got quite a bit of detail in it. And then his robe. Can go here and I can turn the glow down so you guys can see it. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of clipping. This all needs to be rigged properly. I just put it in here to make sure it actually works. But yeah, there's his robe. Okay, so let's drop that down. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, to unwrap this. And then I need to select it. Uh, I'm going to call this like a P. And you'll notice um, with this new video card. Oh, did you just? <laughs> Mr. Warcrabbit coming in with a bunch of gifted subs. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you so much, sir. Well, everybody's got gifted subs now. <laughs> That's awesome. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the support, Cabot. That's awesome. I appreciate you so much. Appreciate you so much. Okay. So, uh, what was I doing before? <laughs> okay. Uh, so going to do neck. Okay. So we're going to export this one out. Uh, well, we can. It'll take a minute. But I was, I was saying, because of the video card, uh, my exports and everything take, like, no time at all now. Yeah, Cabot, that was freaking epic of you, man. Thank you so much. I'm sure everybody appreciates that. Because the ads are annoying. The ads are very, very annoying. But the ads pay the bills. <laughs> uh, okay. So, let's open up. And for those who don't know, this is, this is the process. This is what I go through every time I need to make a piece. Uh, I make it in ZBrush. And then I bring it into cinema. So I'll merge, merge product, project. Uh, we're going to go BX. We're going to go neck. Now. Something I still haven't been able to fix, I think because this is an older model, um, anything I make in ZBrush, the model for some reason is a little bit lower than in this version. So I'm not sure. I think this is the correct version because this is the one we're using to rig. So I think for the next model, I'm going to export this model into ZBrush and uh, see if that makes a difference. Because right now, because of this, I have to I have to adjust this. I have to bring this up like this. See, it's only by like that much that it's off. So I don't know what happened there, but. All right, so I need to go I'm in standard coordinates. This one needs to be negative 90. And that flips this thing around right here. And then we'll get out of this mode. Uh, what did it do? Oh, was I not in the right mode? Hang on a second. Yeah. Do negative 90. 
Does that work? Why is it doing that? I just did this the other day and it worked. That should be locking it. Why isn't it not locking it? Hmm. Well, poop. Why is that not working? If I don't, if I can't get this to work, it's not going to. Oh, well, what the heck? Yeah, why is it doing that? It shouldn't be doing that. right that's right enable access that's weird yeah that doesn't make any sense there's negative so that one has to be set too. Something's wrong with this one too. And that's been skinned already. And that robe still works. I bet you the morphs don't work though. Why is this not working? I wonder if that's a glitch. Try reopening it. That's weird. That's got to be a glitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Okay, now it's working. What the? No, it's not. What the heck is going on? <sighs> Something is not right. This is, see, this is Cinema uh, R25. It's brand new. I've, I've barely used it, so. Um, but this was working. I had this working. Um, so I'm not sure... Yeah, I should be able to rotate and move the access, and it won't let me to. It won't let me. Yeah. Let's look at this for a second before it works. What if I take this and move this? So this should be negative 90 then. No. What is going on here? It's still grabbing. It should not be doing that. I need to look it up.
Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's because I got caps locked on. Caps lock does weird, wonderful things. Access not working. First thing that came up in search. Give me a second here, guys. Sorry about this. I don't know why it's doing this because I tested this before I started screaming, streaming and it was working. Why wouldn't it be editable? I did that. It didn't work. Is that? I've never had this problem before. This is new. I have no idea what's going on. <sighs> this is stupid. Turn it up a bit. Turn up what, dude? Sorry, I'm not, I don't see chat because I'm. Yeah, I don't understand why it's doing that. It should not be doing that. What have I missed? Why does this have to be so complicated? Why did cinema change this? Yeah, this is not rocket science. This should be working. I'm not sure why it's not working. This is supposed to lock my, enable my access to be moved so that I can change my pivot point and it's not allowing me to. It's like it's just not working. object nope oh, this is dumb access center maybe I gotta do it in here Okay, 
let's try something. I, I need to um, create a cube. And I need to test to see if I'm insane or if it's something I've done or. Okay. So let's see to make it editable. And right now I move the object. If I hit this, yeah, it works with that. So what is wrong with this one? Why won't it work? See, I should be able to move this. Yeah. So that's so weird. Okay. So something's not right. Okay. Well, let's um, go that way and I'll hit this one too. See, it works there, but but as soon as I try to use that, it doesn't work. I am absolutely confused. What did they change? They changed something, and I don't know what they changed. Is it down here, maybe? There it is. OK, so why was it way down there? So it's two separate. There, that worked. Why was it like that? Whatever, it works, that's all I care about. Okay, so we're gonna bind this to, sorry about that guys, that was absolutely a rabbit hole and I do not understand why this was all the way down here. It, it makes no sense, but anyway. So, where's my neck? There it is. Okay, so do I want to bind this to my neck or to my clavicle? I think I should do, I should bind it to the neck. Um, left and right clavicle. And the neck, I think, is what I should bind over. We'll see how that works. And my character thing is gone. Thank you. Okay. Grab. Where's manager? We'll grab vamp. My target is my neck. And we'll grab character and transfer my lips. Now, in theory, if I grab. Animation. 
animation thing somewhere on here that I haven't seen. Oh wow. Well, I don't know where it is. Because normally I test the morphs before I export them, but um, I can't remember where they are. They should be here. Well, that's weird. I can circle back to this later. I, I just, it's the same thing over and over again. Um, selection only, FDX, and paper tray. It's the PM. So, how are we doing here? Did you, um, I'm not sure what you said to turn up, but sorry about that. I need to move that camera this way a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's go into Unreal. Here and we'll grab our neck. We're gonna drop it in here. We're gonna grab our male skeleton and we're gonna say we're gonna make sure that our import morph targets is kept checked because we were having a very large issue with that for a very long time. But there's our morph target, and we're gonna hit import all. And then we'll go over to costume data find neck to add costume piece so we're going to go back to our costume pieces and we're going to grab this one here we're going to drop it right in here now i don't have a mask yet so once we get into substance painter i can grab one of the, i can have that but i just want to make sure that this is going to work There it is. Seems to be working for the most part. There's some clipping, but I think that's because of the weighting of the of the uh, robe. But yeah, that came in real nice. So we'll save that. So now, whenever I bring in a new piece or and I have my textures, I just drop them in, and everything will work. Let's 
So let's pull up Substance Painter. And this is why I stream this stuff, guys, because this is the process that I have to go through for every single piece. We, as an example, the other team I worked on, their whole, the skin itself was all one model. So I would export it out as one model with multiple islands for texturing, paint it, and then it would be exported out as merged textures and then those merged textures would just go on top of it but with us because every piece is its own individual model with inside the game so you guys can have multiple different pieces on your characters we have to do it this way and it's tedious and it's um very long process but it's it gives you guys all the custom customize customizability that you deserve. Okay, so where are we? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So this is the low poly. Now what we're going to do, if you've never seen this, is we're going to bake. So we're down here by bake textures. We're going to do 4K, load an ID. We're going to grab Mac HP. And what's just going to do is it's going to bake the high poly version to the low poly version um, so that we don't have to run the high poly version of the model. We're running low poly and using materials or pictures on top of it, basically. Okay, we're going to do eight times any aliasing because I can on this uh, name by mesh. This is why I put... Uh, underscore LP and HP so that it can determine and this should be very fast <laughs> yeah I know eh? I don't know much about the Regency there's so much NPC stuff I still have to go through Tomorrow's stream, I'll actually model something. I, I know this is really boring to watch, guys. Um, but it's important for you guys to see this process. Okay, so we got a problem here. I think I can fix this by adding some height. So let's see if I can add a bit of height here and see if that works. Yeah, the crown turned out really good, eh, Cabot? I like it. The robe's going to look really good once we get some some uh, physics into it. No, that's not working. Okay, so let's go back to ZBrush. Um, and I need to turn these two on. So what we'll do, this is not a big deal. I'm going to grab my pen. You guys get to see the new tablet in action. This thing's awesome. And I have to tell it my workspace. Hang on a second. Device, di what? Device disconnected. What? That's not. That's weird. That's never going to happen before. Why is it doing that? Uh, 
Wow. Okay, it's saying my tablet isn't existing. All right. So we're going to have to do this uh, using a mouse. Which I can. No big deal. Okay, so let's just move this out a bit so that it's a little closer to... The silhouette of the high poly has to match the low poly, or it won't. Uh, as you see, it won't. It won't lay properly. Which is weird because this is a exact copy. I basically just dropped down the subdivision level, so I'm not sure why this is giving me an issue. But whatever. This is all part of it. When I started that other project, they had these awful, awful um, high poly deluxe versions of the four gods that they were using, and uh, I tried to fix them, and I got I got one of them working really well, but I don't know how they got away with. Um, Uh, giving them those and paying them like somebody they paid somebody quite a bit of money to make them and they looked awful they were like each model was almost half a million polygons and that was their that's what they considered low poly <laughs> anything i handed into them was less than thirty thousand polys so just to give you an idea Anything we do for City of Titans is even less than that. Like each low poly piece, I go no more than 2,000 polys each. Because you got to think, you got to be like a thousand people using that piece on, this, on a server. So it can't, that's a lot of data to be passing back and forth. Plus, everybody's PC has to render all of those pieces on the screen at the same time. So yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I don't know what my, my oh, do you know what I think happened? I unplugged this to move it when I was moving my desk around to get ready for the stream, and I think when I unplugged it and plugged it back in, it didn't find it. So I probably have to restart my computer. As much as I appreciate the follow, Mr. Bullet, uh, I am not interested in your service, but thank you for very much for stopping by the stream. Appreciate it. And I wish you all the luck in all your endeavors. Okay, so this work? No, it's still not working. Okay, so there's more going on here. Um, yeah, something's not right. So... What I could do, oh, I see what I did, dummy. I'm a moron. I think that's what I did, select it, yeah, I think. No, because it wasn't selected. I'll try it again, but I don't think that's what it was. Um... These programs, they're so touchy. Like, let's go this one back down to zero one. So let's 
turn off the anti-aliasing for now because I need these bakes to be a bit quicker. Well, poopy. Okay. I think it's because I have too many things open. It's it's glitching. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to make a duplicate of this one. I'm going to rename it to low poly. Let's just try this to make sure it works. Oh, I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. This was something I came across a while ago and I didn't know it. Okay. I need to, I'm using the wrong version of the low poly because the, the low poly, yeah, I need, need to use the low poly neck version that isn't, um, rigged because when I rig it, I turn it, I turn the axis this way, right? So it messes up my bakes. I remember this being an issue. Watch this. Now it'll, now it'll bake no problem. I haven't done this in a while since so I'm having to remember it. <laughs> oh, my only not saying this. Look at all you people watching me. Fantastic. Love it. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see how this works. Boom. See? Told ya. That's all it was. <laughs> um, so I am going to do a point to rise. And I'm also going to add Yeah, I'd say I got the lighting in here perfect. What do you guys think? I think the lighting's really good in this room now. I'd like to put some kind of... Uh, I want to get a, um, a sign made, and I want to put it behind me and have some neon lights. I think that'd be cool. Okay. Yeah, that looks much better. Yay. Okay. Okay, so this part requires some keyboard work, so I'm going to push that ahead and find the keyboard out here. Get rid of this. And two more. Something green. They changed this on me again. The update changed it. I'm not sure if I can put it back. I'm going to have to look into it. See, this is what I wish you could do with Substance Painter. I wish when I set these layer stack up, I wish I could save it as a file somewhere and then import it so that I don't have to do this every time. That would be epic. 
Because once I get this set up, I shouldn't have to keep doing it. So you know I have this layer stack, right? I should be able to save this as a file and then bring it back in for any project I want. I think it's dumb that you have to keep redoing it. It's all white because it's all going to be one color anyway. Okay. Um, should I use any other colors? What have we got for alphas here? I haven't put, like, since I updated my Substance Painter and I I got all my freaking um, things wiped out. Celtic, no, maybe. Not sure. Um, and then something that glows. Because the blue channel we can add glow to, so that's like a yay. Um, you're gonna be looking at your character from behind, so that's where you're gonna be seeing everything anyway. Subtle, but cool. I'd love to paint this, uh, but I don't have a brush that works right now. That would be cool if I could color that. But I don't have a brush that works right now, so maybe I'll do that later. I could like to remind myself to do that. Okay. So we save as. And if you guys want to see, just because it's cool, I do this all the time because I love it. Mats, you're going to go over here and grab, uh, let's say, put that gold on there. Sit here. Turn it on. 
I don't like how when you don't click when you click off it doesn't go away. I hate that. Um, and then the green with like a silver. Bright. It's not bright. There it is. We got a bright. Bring this down to here. And then what we do is we put a black mask on this. And then what we do is we steal the mask information from here. So we go copy mask, and then we drop it in here. Boom. It gives you all the mask information. Uh, red, I could do the same thing. I could make it paste this up here, and because it's already got a mask, I can Clear mask, copy, paste, boom. And then we go down here where it's base color and we can crank this height down like that. There you go. Now I will, I will paint this because I think it'll look nice painted. Um, we can try a different color gold. How about this color? That's kind of nice. Cool. All right, so we'll go back to the other one. And we are going to turn these off so that I only export load I'm seeing all my secrets Act, and I'm going to keep my that up. And this is going to give me three masks. Um, I don't need these two right away, but this I do need. So I'm going to do texture, arcane. Actually, no. We'll do Arcane Master, Neck, and we don't need any male, do we? No. Okay. Seal for cutoff. And then we go back and turn these colors on and turn the mask off and then do another export. Don't need this one because we do that in in, in uh, engine. So I'm going to copy, paste, and then I'm going to change the CO to N. Change the CO to M for ma for mask, and then we'll go fill it Unreal. Grab these three masks and we're going to dump them into this folder. And now I can do capacity here. So I'll grab this mask. And this is our big, this is our base map. And we'll do normal. 
classes are normal now. Now, when I go in, not only do you see that I have my, my normal information, but I also have my masks. So we're going to go neck. I don't understand why neck is in chest. Why wouldn't neck be part of the head? But anyway, so let's go like a gold color. Oh, that, hang on a sec, that thing is so bright. <laughs> Let's turn this, um, blow down, oh my gosh. All right, that's better. I don't remember what I did uh, with the other ones. And there you go. That is in. It looks complicated, but once you have the the uh, the process down, it's it's more tedious than anything. It's not hard, it's just really tedious. So, shall I do another piece? Or is this getting too boring and I should go try do something else? Because I can do this off camera. Let's do, what can we do next? So I could turn some music on. Eh? I have some set up here. Tell me if that's too loud or. Seven 
Oh shoot, that's right. I gotta separate these. Fart. I forgot about that. Because these have to be separate. I can't just... Unless... No, I gotta keep them separate. Uh... Okay. Let's do the cape. <laughs> Let's do the kid. interested to see how this turns out to get it into substance back here we'll ignore the bracers for now because I have to separate them because I have to go in as individual gloves so we'll do the cloak okay, there's nothing there peekaboo bake we're gonna go 4k don't need ID I'm gonna go 0.2 because I think I'm gonna need it for some detail in there. That and then we'll make. No, tomorrow night I promise I'll actually model something. Um, being my first stream back after a very long hiatus, I figure I'd take it easy on myself. Besides, to model anything, I'd have to restart everything. Disconnected. I wonder if my cords. Ah, that's why. Hang on one sec, guys. to restart my computer. <sighs> Keep grabbing my pen. It's working as a monitor. Um, because it has a separate uh, connection that uses a uh, USB-C. Uh, 
Ugh, that's frustrating. Anyway, see, now I can't even color this either. Um, so I think what I'll do is just for, um, uh, I really should reset. I can't do anything without my tablet not working properly. Uh, that really beautiful detail came really came out nice oh, and this is the part I can't stand how it's I have to do this every single time it's annoying For now, we'll just uh, we'll just export this out so I can get the um, the, the cut off the mask so we can see it. Call it a cape or a cloak. I can't remember. Call it a cloak. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Square cloak. Um, A M underscore.
this down here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I just merged the cape in. And it does appear like as if it needs to go up a bit. Is it down or up? I think it's in the perfect position. I'm just going to leave it. So we need to do what we did last time. We need to get it to um, coordinates. I'm going to assume this is where it needs to be. 90. Did it again. OK. What is going on? It's doing it again. What am I missing here? Ah, so I got to be in model mode. Okay. Noted for future reference. Wow. Uh, let's clavicle, clavicle, and okay, this is dumb. So the character doesn't start the, the ability to change that is in one section. And if I want to bind, I have to go into another section. That is still dumb. And there's there's my um, my joints. Uh, so character. Yeah. Target. I don't even know if these morphs are gonna work. But I'm going to have to go through and revisit these. But I'm getting the bulk of the work done. So that's all that matters. DX avatar. Call this. What are you doing? <sighs> Shouldn't take that one. Selected only. I must have selected all the other ones by mistake. Okay. Three down. Okay, so we're gonna go to this would be under back, I guess. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Master. for now.
so that should allow us to actually see it and again these have no cloth dynamics on them no physics so it's gonna look really weird but this is again just to prove that it works It's a Wix. Kind of. <laughs> Some weird glitching going on here. I think I might have to bind it to the neck. I think that's what the problem is. I need to bind it to the neck so it stays. I'll try that later. Looking at my, uh, uh, if you uh, remember last time I was streaming, I started the new, um, this new reward system called Polygons, and you get five for every hour you watch, and I'm going to use those as a way of running raffles and auctions for people who want to have the opportunity to, to uh, request a custom character piece so like a belt or a pair of gloves or something like that that will uh, will eventually get in the game um, but I we need people need to have a few points before we can run that right now the most I see is 30 points right now so we'll let we'll let that go for a few weeks and we'll see what happens but i think it'll be fun once it starts getting going oh, i wish i could get this tablet to work i don't understand why it's not working kind of unfortunate it says it's disconnected but yet it's not power's on
Sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to get this thing to work. I literally think I have to shut my computer off. It's stupid. It's USB 3 or USB C. It's supposed to be like. Yeah, and it's saying that it doesn't recognize it. sometimes. Come on, baby, find it. Yeah, it says it doesn't under doesn't know it, which makes no sense. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I wanted to stream for a good three hours tonight, but I've practically run out of things to do. Because I do not have a tablet that works. So I think I'm probably going to cut the stream short, see if I can get it to work. And if I can get it to work, I'll come back online. Um, but right now it's, it's being frustrating and it's not working. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to shut my computer off and uh, try to get my tablet to work. And if it works, I'll take a small break and then I'll come back online. Um, so keep an eye out for uh, for another um, that I'm back online. I really apologize for that, guys. I I must have bumped the cord or something while I was moving stuff around to get ready, and it, I didn't notice it wasn't working. Yeah. To the lobby. I'm not sure what that means. I literally need three minutes to turn it, shut everything off, turn my computer back, and my computer starts, starts up. It's like at my desktop in less than five seconds. And then restart to make sure that my tablet works. And if it works, I'll start the stream right away. Yeah, go to the lobby, have yourself a snack. I will be right back. But I'm, I'm looking at my stats. Through all of the stuff I've been doing tonight, I haven't had a single frame drop. So that's awesome. So the other thing I'm going to be able to do with my streams going forward is I'll be able to um, render them out at a higher quality as well. I did check the cable. I unplugged it three or four times and it just will not pick the tablet back up for some reason. So, so yes, I will go offline for about five, 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be